Hey there, have you been thinking of buying Minecraft Java? Then notice that the minimum requirement is an i3-3210 with 4GB of RAM and Intel HD 4000 graphics? And made you wonder if your computer can even play the game? Well today, we will find out. The computer I am using in this test has a Intel Core 2 Duo E8500 overclocked to 3.7GHz. It is quite a bit slower than the i3-3210 the game requires. It also has 4GB of DDR2 RAM with a 16GB page file, and it also has a GTX 750 Ti, which is way faster than the Intel Graphics 4000, though the Intel Graphics 4000 can get around 200 FPS, which I don't know if the CPU can even get 200 FPS in the first place. If you don't know, Minecraft without shaders is very CPU intensive and not very GPU intensive. This means it puts more work on the CPU and not as much work on the GPU. That is why the Intel HD Graphics gets 200 FPS. All the gameplay you see is not when I got the performance stats, due to recording really hits the game's performance. This is because the computer is running both the recording software and Minecraft. If it were just playing Minecraft, the game would perform a ton better. And that is where I got the performance stats from. I have Optifine, Optifabric, and Enhanced Block Entities installed, which are mods that help a ton with the FPS. The graphics settings are as low as possible, besides the render distance, it's on 8 chunks, the lighting is on minimum smoothness and the graphics is set to fancy. All Optifine's options are as low as they can possibly go. To start off, in a single player world, this computer gets an average of 225 frames per second, with a 1% low of 8 frames per second and a 0.1% low of 1 frame per second. The game is playable, but there are a ton of lag spikes. It only lags if you load in chunks, so if you stand in one spot specifically and do not load in any chunks, you are not going to get any lag spikes and the game will be perfectly playable, though it's not very easy to stand in one spot and play Minecraft, but that is one way of playing the game without any lag. But there are always other ways of getting the game to run without lag. For example, Minecraft servers. If you don't know, if you play on a Minecraft server, it takes some load off the computer, so the game should run better on a server. On my survival server, I get an average of 125 frames per second with a 1% low of 22 frames per second and a 0.1% low of 12 frames per second. Even though the average FPS is lower by 100, there are a ton less lag spikes and the game runs a ton better. So if you had a choice, Try to play on a server if you really dislike lag spikes. But the main question is, are the minimum requirements actually the minimum requirements to have a good time while playing the game? I would say no. You don't need such a good CPU to play and have a good time. This E8500 is about the minimum I would recommend, though you can of course play with a slower CPU on a lower render distance. The E8500 is quite a bit older than the i3-3210. It is about 5 years older. The the E8500 was released in 2008, and the i3 was released in 2013. But, if you only have 2GB of RAM, I recommend trying to upgrade that before getting the game, or at least try to have a 8GB page file to help out. Also, if you already have the game or are planning on getting the game, I recommend checking this video out right here. It helps you out getting the best possible frames per second in Minecraft. Either way, thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful day. See you next time.